Perhaps no natural landscape on Earth is more instantly recognizable, more biologically fascinating, or more important to our modern understanding of the history of life than the Galapagos Islands. It's home to the only penguins north of the equator, thousands of sea lions, and the famously strange blue-footed booby. Also, who could forget the gargantuan Galapagos tortoise? But there's one animal that has become almost synonymous with these famed islands. The marine iguana. Charles Darwin described them as hideous looking and the most disgusting, clumsy lizards. These iguanas are more than they look. This is the only species of lizard on Earth adapted to the marine environment. Their long, alligator-like tails propel them through the water where they dive to feed on benthic algae beds. But only the few largest among them dive for food. The bigger the lizard, the more time it can spend in the water without getting too cold. Smaller iguanas have to make do with algae revealed during low tide. Their claws can help them cling to the rocky shore, which definitely comes in handy. But how did these lizards get here in the first place? At first, scientists entertained the idea they might have swam here from Ecuador. But that's a 600 mile journey through deep, cold water. Now researchers believe the iguanas that colonized these islands weren't marine at all. They were land iguanas that floated over from Ecuador on a mat of debris. While no one knows for sure, science's best guess is that this lineage split from the land iguanas some 10 million years ago. Over the years, these lizards have become highly adapted to their new environment. Much like Darwin's finches, whose specialized beaks tipped off the theory of evolution, the iguanas living on each island have developed unique shapes and colors. They even come in different sizes. A specialized gland in their nose helps them sneeze out all the excess salt from their diet. And they're masters of energy conservation, moving only when they need to. They're so still that sometimes small lizards crawl up on top of their heads for a higher vantage point and to eat the dead skin off of them. Most of the day is spent sunbathing along the rocky shore, but in these large groups, males can get aggressive, especially during the mating season. They bob their heads at each other to show dominance and can attack when neither backs down. Their lives are largely free of predators, but hawks, owls, and snakes do sometimes eat them. El Nino years are hard times for the marine iguana. The warm, nutrient-poor water kills the green algae they need to survive, leaving them to starve. Models show that El Nino events are only getting longer and more pronounced, which could have grave effects on their long-term survival. While population seems to be stable for now, there's no telling what's in store for the world's only marine lizard. <laughs>